Good evening, I'm meteorologist Karen Williams, and we had an absolutely gorgeous day outside. We had plenty of sunshine, it was breezy, and it was mild temperatures. But you can kind of say goodbye to that for a little bit, and that's because we have this front. This is going to be a weak cold front that's going to be moving into the area, and some of which we're going to see some sprinkles pretty much for your Monday. Now we're going to have an unsettled pattern for Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday will be our next weather event. That will bring us some heavier showers and thunderstorms and behind that you can expect colder weather to return. I'll have your full forecast coming up in about 10 minutes or so as the Delta News Weekend Edition starts now. News that works for you. This is the Delta News at 10. Well, Tamara, after a beautiful day, we're going to start to see some showers. And also, it's going to be another change coming up. Your full forecast after the break. Taking a look at your weather headlines, we had sunny skies and that gave way to cloudy skies a little bit later on. Now our weather pattern, once we get those sprinkles in the air, we will have an unsettled pat pattern to take place and then showers, the big variety showers, will arrive by midweek and that's going to lead to colder temperatures. Now as we look at our satellite radar here, again we see some clouds that are moving into the area. Now the circus, uh, the circulation that's above here in the midsection of our country has the heaviest showers, but this weak line is going to be just dragging on through and that's going to give us some sprinkles, nothing heavy to expect, but we will see increasing clouds and unsettled conditions to move out throughout the area. Now as we look at our out the door forecast for your Monday, we'll have a few showers by 7 a.m., 52 degrees, and then by noon it'll just be mainly cloudy conditions, 55 degrees, and then we'll keep those clouds around by 5 p.m. Now our low temperatures for the night won't be too bad. They'll be in the upper 40s to low 50s, and you can see 48 degrees for for Charleston, 49 for Grenada and Carrollton. But notice that sharp line. That's that front that's going to be moving through. So 45 for Clarksdale. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the upper 50s. And as you travel to the south, you'll see 60s. We're looking at Yazoo City and Lake Providence at 60 degrees, along with Chula and Kosciuszko. And then 59 for Grenada and 56 for Cleveland. Now, looking at those wind speeds, out there they are starting to pick up a bit but mainly they're from the south which is a warm trend there and those are going to be quite breezy ranging anywhere from about 8 to 15 miles per hour now notice we had 24 hour difference in our temperatures we're at least 14 degrees warmer than what we were in Clarksdale and 15 degrees down to our south in Jackson. We're going to put the future tracker into motion. And there's that weak line that I spoke of. By 5 a.m., it'll move through a few sprinkles. And then by Monday, we'll just be dry. Most of the showers will stay to our south. Tuesday, there's possibly another few little showers that will be moving through. But for the most part, this is that unsettled pattern. By Wednesday, Wednesday, that's when we'll have the leading edge to move in. And again, this is what I was referring to. And again, we'll see that to happen a little bit later on. Temperature trend toward the week will still remain mild, but toward the end of the week, as we get into 2021, those temperatures will definitely be below normal with the temperatures being in the mid 40s for most of the days. Now looking at the rain chances ahead will be on Wednesday and the greatest chance on Thursday, 90% chance. Now looking at your forecast for tonight, we'll have increasing clouds. There's a possibility of a late shower, a bit breezy, 51 degrees. And then for your Monday, we'll have morning showers, then cloudy and will be breezy at times, 58 degrees. And then looking ahead, that seven day forecast camera, that's when we'll have those heavy duty showers and thunderstorms that you'll definitely need your rain gear for on Wednesday and Thursday. And then for 2021, <laughs> oh, Happy goodness. New Year, we'll have, we'll have mainly those dry conditions, but it will be sharply cold. 
with temperatures in the mid 40s. 2021, that's that's a scary sentence right there, Karen. <laughs> I can't believe the year's over. Look, it can only go up from here. <laughs> yes, that's it all. can. I that's, like that. That's it. Now we're going to feature our last little bit of for 2020, yes. our Christmas pictures. This is going to be it, folks. So, oh my goodness. So just let us enjoy this. Yes. And then we will go back to bringing back the weather photos. Now, right. to kick things off, we have Barbara Edwards oh, with a beautiful Christmas in Canton, looking a lot like Christmas and white bright lights. Thanks, Barbara. So pretty. Next one we have by Timothy Staples. Ooh, we have a hanging nice. Christmas tree and we also have Christmas lights. So pretty. thank you, Timothy. Yes. And the next one again, we're going to say that I had the Mr. Grinch was in my computer yes, and, and it just it did it again. Ooh. And I'm apologizing, Rebecca. So we're just going to get these last little few in here. These so are Christmas beautiful. lights from Cross It. And then we have Finn, Finney's Wonderland of Lights. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Very Don't send any letters in because I did qualify this, folks. I know some of you are going to say, <laughs> why we got to look at it sideways? Well, I'm I not our said, fault. That's my, out of our my, control. It's my computer. That's, That's all what it is. The next one is by Janice Hooper with Reindeer Lights. Oh, very Thank pretty. you, Janice. And then the last one is Dolores Holmes with Ooh, Kennedy pretty. Street and Shelby. And again, that's the Grinch, that, Grinch, sto the Grinch that stole my computer. Yes, so it that's is. what it is. But those are our Christmas photos for 2020. Awesome. And if you would like to submit your weather photos, we're going back to weather photos for 2021, folks. You can send them in to kwilliams at deltanews.tv and we'll do our best to show your work. So we thank you, everyone. Yes, we thank you guys. Those awesome roundup of Christmas lights. I love to see them. I might have some vacation photos up my sleeve, Karen. Maybe I'll have to send one in and surprise you guys. Okay, let's go for <laughs> it. All right. Well, we'll be back after the break with more news. Stay with us. <laughs>